Stephen. How are you? I'm doing great. Looking forward to our conversation. All right. Well, thank you for being here. My pleasure. I'm here to hit you with the hard questions, okay? <laughs> okay. I, and, you know, the answers, I need answers. Okay. Okay, because these past couple of years, not so great. So I'm hoping that you can give me some answers so I can have that trust again. Okay. Okay. So I'll do my best. Okay. All right. So, you know, I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. Uh, you know, I've been in business for uh, just over a decade. A lot of parties are saying that they're going to help us entrepreneurs. <laughs> How are your promises different? Well, first of all, so my wife runs her own business. She's an entrepreneur. She started it six, seven years ago. Years ago, my mom started her own small business. So like in my own life, I've seen firsthand what you have to go through, what so many like you across Ontario, you make the calculated risk, you jump into it, you work so, so hard. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, it's been horribly difficult the past two years. The current government's been focused on big box and giant corporations. Yes, so what we've said in our plan, drawing on my own personal experiences within my family, if you've been hard hit during this pandemic, you're not going to have to pay any corporate income tax for two full years. Oh, so you can catch nice. your breath a little bit. You can recover. I've, I've heard from a lot of small business owners who are dealing with a mountain of all call it uh, COVID debt yep. because they've had to stay afloat and borrow to do that. Yep. That's one really good example. The other thing for people, because I want to encourage more people to start their own businesses, we're going to get rid of the incorporation fee so that you don't have to pay anything to actually get incorporated. And, and start something in that regard. Now, Stephen, if the pandemic has taught us anything is that it's taught us the critical importance of having access to benefits like prescription yeah. drugs, yeah. Uh, mental health, dental, yeah. uh, you know, parental leave and, uh, you know, even our retirement savings. Yeah. What can you do to better support entrepreneurs like myself? So when I chose to run for leader of the party, like the centerpiece of my entire platform at the time was what I call economic dignity. And that's become a really important chapter of our Ontario Liberal plan during this election campaign. And one of the things that we highlight in that plan is actually creating a portable benefits package for Ontario workers, because you're right. right. The nature of work has changed so, so much. The nature of employment, gig work, contract work, lots of precarious work. I mean, the workforce my young daughters are going to go into in a few years, it's so dramatically different, different from what I started in, yep. you know, a generation ago. Ontarians deserve that floor of support. Like at the end of the day, if you're going to show up and do your part, your government's got to have your back. So portable benefits, including prescription medication, prescription drugs, mental health care, so important right now, parental leave, as you pointed out, dental health care, uh, dental supports, a real path to retirement dignity. But the part that I love most about portable benefits is that they're not attached to the work scenario or the employment situation. They'd be attached to you for life. Me? So you, every worker in this province. So if you go through multiple different employment situations right. in your career, it doesn't matter. You've got that with you wherever you go. So I love supporting local restaurants with right. my family and friends. We like to go, you know, have a little <laughs> bite to eat every once in a while. Um, but how are you going to eliminate the HST on meals funded by fair tax? So what we have committed to is taking the provincial HST, so 8%, off every prepared food that you buy as so a consumer. So we're talking rotisserie chicken. Rotisserie chicken, potato wedges, okay. and now I'm getting hungry just talking about this. <laughs> Side salad. You know, you walk into a bakery right. and you pick up a couple of coffees and some, you know, some cookies or some muffins. Yeah. Anything that's under $20. Okay. Every single time, 8% cheaper. Every single transaction. We're going to pay for that commitment by making sure that the biggest and most profitable corporations, those that have profits over a billion dollars, pay a little bit more in corporate income tax and our highest income earners, Ontarians who earn over half a million dollars a year, pay just a couple of points more on their income tax. Those two together will help us actually be able to afford, making it so much more affordable for Ontario families who are struggling in the midst of this affordability crisis. Tell me a story about your favorite small business. Oh, well, I mean, historically, my favorite small business would have been the one that my mom opened up. Right. It was called Pasta Mia St. Lawrence. Okay. So my dad is from Italy, you know, okay. Del Duca, but my okay. mom is from Scotland. Okay. So I tell people that only in Canada yep. could my Scottish parent yep. open up a fresh pasta and espresso bar at the Tor at Toronto St. Lawrence Market. Uh, it was extraordinary. She had so many loyal customers. And I tell people, and I drink coffee all over this province, she still made, uh, still to this day, the best cup of coffee I've ever had. Oh. And I kind of miss it, oh. but she loved doing it. And again, such a loyal following of the customers and uh, that's a really good memory for all of us. Steven, this is my last question. And okay. I want you to really think carefully about uh -oh. this. <laughs> Why should I, or all my entrepreneur friends, vote for you? Look, I really and truly believe it's about the outlook 
And the plan that we have put together, it is thoughtful, it is responsible, it is fully costed, which, you know, as an entrepreneur, you know how important it is for the numbers to add up. Mm -hmm. Well, our plan's being fully costed from the very beginning. It's also caring and compassionate. So we called it a place to grow for a reason. I want, we want Ontario to be a place to grow healthy, to grow sustainably, to grow older, to grow your family. I mean, again, that is like the beauty of this province that really has been undermined over the past four years. And I'm also someone who just believes in hard work. My parents and grandparents taught me this, no shortcuts to success, roll up the sleeves, keep your head down and just keep pushing through like our entrepreneurs, like you do, like our entrepreneurs mm. do. I believe you, you got good energy. <laughs> I believe you. Okay. That's good, that's great. <laughs> well, thank you very much for thank joining you. me and answering those questions as cleanly as possible. Because yeah, you didn't do any of the mumbo jumbo. You, you, you went straight to the point and you explained it and I, and I certainly appreciate that. So well, that's thank awesome. you. Thank you so much for this chance. Real pleasure. <laughs>